Hi, this is Eddie, and I'm going to show you a short program, TRAV, T-R-A-V. And TRAV uses two techniques in programming. The first technique is setting the home variable angle setting, which is symbolized by the variable H angle. The H and the A are both capitalized. An H angle has two different values, zero for radians mode and one for degrees mode. The H angle can be found by pressing the variables key. And then you want to go to the home submenu, the soft menu, and you're going to press six for settings and one for H angle. The second technique that's demonstrated in this program is a repeat until loop which contains a choose command. The choose command has three main arguments in it. The first argument is going to be your designated variable. You can give it any name you want. If it's a lowercase or a word, you might want to localize that word before the repeat loop. The second argument is a title that's enclosed in quotation marks. That's going to be the title of your choose box. And then the third main argument contains your choices. Choice 1, choice 2, choice 3, and so on to choice n. Choice n is going to represent your exit choice, your quit choice, or your finalize choice. For each of the choices 1, 2, 3, and all the way through n minus 1, you're going to do an if, then n structure. So for choice 1, you're going to go if the variable is equal to 1, then you need to do these things that correspond to the first choice and finish it up with an end. Do this for each of the choices until you get to the last exit choice. Because we're going to close out this repeat loop with repeat until the variable is equal to n. The choose variable var or whatever you designate to be will take the value of the choice that you make. So if I choose choice 1, VAR, the choose variable, is going to take a value of 1. Now, in HP prime programming languages, remember to use two equal signs for comparison tests. Two. That means if I put a command A equals equals B in HP prime programming language, that tells it to run the test is A equal to B. This is the TRAV program and the purpose of this program is you start at the origin which is point zero zero and you give the calculator distance and bearings. Now for the purpose of this program bearing is going to be zero degrees if you want to go right or do east, 90 degrees if you want to go up or do north, 180 degrees if you want to go left or do south, and 270 degrees or you could use negative 90 degrees to go do south. You can pause the video if you want to type this program. Here's the first page. I am start off by setting the degree mode by designating the variable h angle to be 1. My next step is going to be localization of variables. C is going to be your choose variable, R and theta are input variables for distance and bearing respectively. D is going to be the total distance traveled. N and E are going to represent your points. N, think of N being your northing or the y-axis and E your easting or your x-axis.
here is the main portion of the program. Here I have the repeat loop and I also have my choose. And in this program I only have two options. The first one is going to be add distance and bearing and the second one is going to be close route. Choosing the second one is going to finalize my travels and it's going to tell me how much distance I have to go and what direction to get back to the origin. It's also going to tell me the total amount of distance I have traveled. So my designated choose variable is C. So if C is equal to 1 then I have chosen the add distance bearing option and it starts out by asking me to input the distance and bearing and some calculations happen uh, adding distance and determining where my next point is. Then I get to the update stage. Again, please pause this video if you want to type this program. I clear the screen using a rectangular command RECT with empty, paren uh, em empty parentheses and then I use text out to type out my distance and then my point, my north and my east. North being y-axis, east being x-axis. And I have a weight of a negative one to make the calculator weight indefinitely. And then I have the close of the loop until c is equal to two. Going to my closing section I calculate the final distance and this is the finalized information. The first is going to be distance to the origin, the bearing I have to travel, and the total distance I traveled. And I put an indefinite weight there as well and ended the program with an end. Now let's see the program in action. I'm calling up the trial program right now. I get the message the starting point is going to be zero, 0. I'm going to add distance and bearing. So, for example, I'm going to go a distance of 250 units at 64.5 degrees. Then I hit OK, and it's going to tell me that I went 250 units. And then here's my coordinates. I have an easting of 107.62 approximately and a northing of 225.646 approximately. Then the program is going to ask me if I want to add another distance and bearing or do you want me to close the route right now. I'm going to add another point. And this time I'm going to go 200 units and I'm going to go due west make the angle 180 degrees. So I can put the information. Now I have traveled a distance of 450 units. I'm at the northing of 225.646. It hasn't changed, but the easting has decreased to negative 92.372. It is negative because I am west of that y-axis. I'm going to go ahead and closing the route. I'm going to hit option two. And the program tells me that I'm going to travel approximately 243.821 units at a bearing at negative 112.263 degrees. And I have traveled a total distance of 693.821 units. So that's the trial program. I hope you found this video helpful. You can check out my blog, Eddie's Math and Calculator blog, at edspi31415.blogspot.com. Thank you very much, and have a great day.